Welcome back to mini app tutorial. Um, in this video, what we're going to look at is how to style our mini apps. Now, there are a few things in this uh, styling section. So, mini app comes with some default color themes. We can explore those. We can see how to add a header and footer. We'll try to add some styles that are specific to a logged in screen and specific to logged out screens. We'll try to have uh, screen specific headers and footers. And finally, we'll try to handpick certain elements from the screen and how to give a particular style to them. Let's go to our uh, mini app screen. So this is the app that we created the other day. Let's go ahead and launch. Now first of all, as, as you can see, it this is very basic. And if you go to configuration, you see that we have a default color theme. So here you have three other options as well. You can select Nord, Sap or Dark. Let's say I'm going ahead and select Save with the dark theme. This is how the dark theme looks like. Perfect. Now if you want a different theme, let's say we go ahead and further change it to node sapish. This is how it looks like. So by default, you have three different color options, four different color options to choose from. Now let's say we decided on this and now this is what our home page looks like. This is not good. You, you want to add a header here and a footer. How do we do that? So if you go to Procfu, we have a few options. So if you want to have a header that is consistent on all the screens, you'll go to configuration and add an HTML header to the app itself. To do that, let's say I'm going to add a title. Perfect, that is a heading I want and I also want a footer which basically says um, what the copyright is. So if I go to footer, I'm going to write a P and say copyright sunrise building association. Copyright to Sunrise Building Association. So you see that we have a footer as well. But this does not look great. So how do we style it? What you can do is that you can go to the HTML and you can add the styles right here. You open and close the style and then add a little bit of style here. Let's say I'm going to add a header class and then Put it inside a div, call it header. And then give it a start. Let's say we're going to give it a background color of yellow. We are going to have a little bit of spacing so we can give padding on the top and maybe 10 pixel padding on the bottom another 10 pixel looks good now we want to center align that so in that case what we do is that we can go ahead and give a little bit of Perfect. So as you can see, this is how you style the app. Now, if you see that this is going to, this is looking good. Now, since we have put it on the configuration header, this is going to remain on all the screens. So if I log in, the heading will still be there. Now let's go fix the footer as well. So I'll go to the configuration and I'll add some styles to the footer. So this is the footer, so let's go ahead and similarly What I want to do, I want to give it a 
light background color light gray uh, let's go ahead and add this We've added a light background color that is good now we want it to stick down so what we can do is that we can say position fixed and bottom zero so if I save this you can see it goes to the bottom and stays there now we want it to be 100% width so let's add a width of 100% and similarly let's also add a text align of center text align center I hope this works let's see perfect so we have got a header and a footer let's give it a little bit of margin at the bottom after the header so after the header I want I am not sure if this will work though. Yeah, it does work. Perfect. So we have a little bit of margin. Good. Great. So this is how you give a header and a footer or basically style something on your mini app. Now let's say that I want to have a logout button uh, on the mini app, but I don't want it to put in them all. Uh, Currently, if you've noticed, we have the logout button here. I don't want it here. I want it here on the top. So how do we do that? So I'll go to, and this logout button shouldn't be seen on a logged, uh, this logout button shouldn't be seen on a logged out screen. So what do we do? We can go to here. So app header in and app header out. If you want something that is only seen by logged in people, you go put it here. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna put a HREF, which is a link and call it logout plus a now the link is available in markdown token as you can see perfect we have a logout link now if you notice if it is here I don't want it here I want it over here somewhere so what you can do is that you can style it I'm gonna style it say this is top zero which means that I want it like really top and let's fix the position position fixed so the, as you can see it went up but now I want it on the other side so I'm going to give it a right margin or right position of zero it will go all the way at the other end. I'm going to put padding right of maybe like 30 pixel or something. Let's see. And padding top as well. Padding top of maybe 5 pixel. Let's make it 15 pixel. This is just a sample. I just want to show how it looks. As you can see, the logout screen is here. It's here logout button perfect so let's go ahead and remove the one we had put it in the footer earlier which was in the MR list footer this logout let's remove this is no longer required because now we have a footer that is coming directly from the HTML footer screen perfect we have got a foot a logout button here now if I logged out you see it is not seen here that is because we have put it in logged out now we similarly want to have a different button that only logged out people see logged in people shouldn't be seeing it so I'm gonna copy paste here and say uh, apply for new unit 
So there's a apply for new unit link, which anybody in the public can see it. So everything else will remain the same. I'm gonna change this link to some Google link for temporarily. This is just for you to see how it works. So if I save it and refresh it, you see this screen is coming. Now this is going to be seen for anybody who has not logged out. So if you click it, it's going out somewhere that we have put. Now if I log in, you don't see it, you see a different link. So this is how a logged in screen works. So we have seen how the default color theme works. We saw how to add a header and a footer. We show how to add a logged in and a logged out um, uh, situation. Now what if we want a specific header and a footer for a particular screen? In that case, what we can do is that, let's say we go to this MR list screen, this one. Now I want to have a paragraph underneath here which says rules for applying for a new this one. So what you can do is that you can go to the MR list. There's a specific header and footer for this screen. Similarly, every screen has their own header and footer. You can put your code here. So I'm going to let's say put a paragraph saying rules to apply for maintenance request. It's three something and you have a long paragraph. Let's try to get some paragraph. Um, let's say you have long paragraph of rules and regulations that these, these people need to follow and you have put it there so you can see it. Now you want to do some kind of styling. How do we do that? Similarly, as we have done earlier, you can just go here, add style, and just select your item, H3, let's make this text align center, let's make the paragraph a little small, so font size maybe like 12 pixels. See, this is how you apply something that is only specific for this particular screen. So if you go here, you see, this is only in this screen. So, but if you go to a different screen, let's go to the create screen. Let's go to the header, add a button. So we have a create screen there let's let me just try it so if you go to create screen you see that it is not showing it is only showing in this particular screen so that's how you put a screen specific header or footer you can just go to that particular screen header and footer and then add the color now let's say you want to select something very particular and apply a style for example uh, let's go to uh, the create screen and let's say that you do not like the save button you want to have a different color for the save button how do you do that what you can do in that case is that you will use some javascript and apply the style dynamically so we'll go to this create screen all right and then we can go to on render now using jquery we can select this element how do you do that so you can write So how do we select an element? So in this case, you see it's a save button. You can go inspect the element and then you can find out what it is. I think this one currently is inside the form. 
which is here the data type is item so let's go ahead and do it that way so I'm going to select form data type is equal to item and inside that it's a button dot primary I hope this works if I save it it works so that's how you change it something very specific now if you want to change a text field let's say we want to change title I think title all the text fields comes with a name then it becomes a little more easier what you can do is that you can go here and you can just you can select whatever the name is in this case it's title and apply some sort of CSS so background color we want to change into green for example I'm just going to show you a sample so if I save it you notice that it has changed so that's how you add style to something very specific perfect that's it for this video thank you very much